Hello YouTube, Luigi here. Today is Easter Sunday 2016 and in honor of Easter Sunday I'm going to show you how the symbol of the Christian cross is related to the Fibonacci series. What? Yeah, maybe you haven't heard of that before. I'm going to graphically illustrate this. The first three numbers of the Fibonacci series are 1, 1, and 2. So let's start by drawing a square. 1 by 1. And because there's two of those, I'm simply going to copy this one over. I'm leaving my command line exposed on the top of the screen so you can uh, follow me along. 1, 1, 2. Let's draw a, rect a square at 2, comma, minus 2. 1, 1, 2. Well, there you go. First three numbers of the Fibonacci. How do we turn this into a Christian cross? It's pretty simple. We simply extend that. To make it read a little better, there, there you go. Now, to illustrate this even more graphically, let's conduct the very beginning of the Fibonacci spiral. Here's one again repeated. There's two by two. There's three by three, the next number in the series. There's five by five. Now, changing colors here to make it a little easier to see. I'm doing the arc command to draw quarter circles within these squares. There's the first one. It's a quarter of a circle. I'm just simply going to mirror it to put it there. Start, end, radius, start, end, radius. Start and radius. Okay, so here's the beginning of the Fibonacci spiral. And just to just to illustrate this further, this whole thing fits perfectly within there. Now, what's the point of this? The point of this is the Christian cross is an iconic religious symbol. As a symbol, it is open to many interpretations. We have the Latin cross. We have the Maltese cross. We have the Celtic cross. We have the Coptic cross. We have the Orthodox cross. But the point is, in order for things to have variations, they have to have a hard, firm, original prototype. And the original Christian cross, the Latin cross, comes directly from the Fibonacci relationship. Okay? It's just a place to start. Artists and painters and sculptors have been reinterpreting this symbol over the centuries, giving it their own nuances of originality. Okay? But I'm just saying this is where it all started. All right, everybody. Have a good Easter. God bless you. I love you all. Bye-bye.